Right now, consumers have another way to resolve complaints about air travel. And we're following the latest in the Israel-Hamas war as Israel ups its offensive in Rafah, what the U.S. has to say about the current military move. That's all coming up at 5.30. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jalen Banks and happy Mother's Day to all of you that are out there watching. Let's get a look at your certified most sacred forecast with meteorologist Alex Harrington. Alex, we've had some storms pop up real recent. Yeah, a couple of, for these past couple days, we've been saying that our Mother's Day afternoon could get a bit on the rumbly side, and we have had some severe thunderstorm warnings that have been moving across southern Wisconsin. Still have a severe thunderstorm warning for Columbia County in the far, far northern portion of Dane County here for just another moment or two. The strongest part of the cell is over portions of northeastern Columbia County, and that's going to move that storm off towards Randolph at 5.31 p.m., over towards Clawson Park at 5.40, and then over towards Wapan so get a little bit closer to six o'clock if that thunderstorm can hold itself together. That thunderstorm that moved across Dane County, which we've had numerous reports of trees down. I'm going to show you some photos here in just a moment. It is not severe, but that storm is going to be moving off towards the east right along 94. It's nearing Lake Mills, actually in Lake Mills right now. So if you're joining us right now, Lake Mills, you are getting this storm right now. Could have some gusty winds to at least 40 to 50 miles per hour. Milford by 542 and then Johnson Creek by 5.52 p.m. Earlier when the storm in southern Columbia County was in Merrimack, we have some hail here submitted to us. Thanks, Laura, for sending us this photo after the storm when it is safe. And then meteorologist Buddy Reeves showing us just off of Raymond Road, a large tree down here. This is about a 40-foot tree that came down, and we're getting reports, widespread reports of trees down across Dane County. We'll be keeping an eye on these thunderstorms, and coming up in a little bit later, I'll tell you when the thunderstorm threat should start to go down. All right, Alex, we'll see you then. Thank you. Thanks to a new partnership, Wisconsin consumers now have another way to resolve complaints about air travel. With Memorial Day weekend just two weeks away, our Braden Ross shows us how you can take advantage of the new system just in case you have some travel troubles. There's a lot of concerns going on. Canceled flights, lost luggage, overbooking. Travel nightmares many consumers know all too well. But now getting those complaints resolved could be a little bit easier. This will allow us to make sure we're taking action and hopefully to help improve the experience that consumers have when they're they're traveling on airlines in the U.S. A new partnership between the state of Wisconsin and the U.S. Department of Transportation means the way airline complaints are handled is changing in Wisconsin. In the airline industry, the, the law is set up somewhat differently because uh, by its nature, uh, flights are, are multi-state. They go from one state to another. And so Consumer Protection Authority resides with the U.S. Department of Transportation. But now Wisconsin consumers can submit their airline complaints to state agencies rather than going through the federal DOT. Rather than having a, a federal agency that folks need to reach out to where they may not even realize they need to reach out, um, now instead folks can go where they're, they're more used to going, to DADCAP and ultimately to Wisconsin DOJ and uh, have somebody here in Wisconsin responding to their concerns. Last year, the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade and Consumer Protection, or DATCAP, responded to more than 10,000 consumer complaints and was able to put more than $3 million back in consumers' pockets. We seek at DOJ and, and DATCAP seeks to ensure that consumers are protected. And if we can do that in an additional way in an area where a lot of consumers are being impacted, uh, that's, a, that's a win for Wisconsin consumers, and, and we're happy to be doing it. Reporting in Madison, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. 24 other states have also expressed interest in a similar partnership with the federal government. If you have any air travel complaint, you could submit it through DATCAP now. If they're not able to resolve it, they can connect you with the right agency to help. 